May I now request Dr. Anandita Balslev, Academic Coordinator, to kindly introduce the conference. We have assembled here this morning in order to celebrate the 150th birth anniversary of one of the greatest sons ever born to Mother India. Swami Vivekananda had a short but a remarkable life. Born in 1863, he died in 1902. And yet, within the brief span of these 39 years, he ignited the moral imagination of such a large number of men and women that we can rightly say that he had ushered a new movement whose impact can be felt even today. Indeed, he has not ceased to inspire us, and we are ready today to participate in the celebration of his 150th birth anniversary. This is an occasion when it is, of course, natural for us to wish to recapitulate once again the most frequently recalled incidents and episodes of his life, highlighting his extraordinary strides and the glorious moments of his success. But we feel the more important task for us is to rethink his thoughts, share his concerns, retrieve some of his bold visions with a view to carry forward his unfinished projects. Evidently, this calls for commitment and continuous effort on our part that goes far beyond the celebration of a birthday anniversary. During the two and a half days of this conference, discussions will focus on key issues related to the multiple aspects of the undeniably vibrant presence of the religions of the world in our time. A common sharing of the advanced scientific technology while facilitating travel and communication has also made it poignantly visible to us that we are by no means living in a post-religious era. It seems to me that as long as the largest aggregates of humanity will draw their norms and values, derive their sense of collective identity, the topic of this conference will remain on top of the agenda of an open global discourse in a global setting. We have thinkers and panelists and philanthropists who will uh, speak to us about eradication of poverty and hunger and the role of religion in that context. On March 9th, which is the final day of this conference, the venue shifts to the Multipurpose Hall India International Center, where Eminent personalities like His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Maulana Wahiduddin Khan, along with Dr. Karan Singh and Reverend M. Tutu will join us in an open conversational setting where I will play the role of an interlocutor, gradually inviting inputs from others as well. Let us all keep in mind that the really crucial question before us, not only for this conference, but it's a concern of our time, that how do we move on to a collective plane of collective existence where diversity of religious traditions is no longer seen as a cause for dissension. Think of a global scenario. Think of the implications when such a state is achieved, when the presence of the world religions is no longer seen as a divisive force, but as a common resource that can enrich and empower all of us in ways that is not even possible for us to imagine today. It is through these deliberations that we hope to carry forward the unfinished project of Swami Vivekananda and thereby pay homage to this great son of India. Thank you.